Okay, folks, I have, uh, I hear thunder, so I'm getting ready to fight a storm, I guess, but, uh, the mornings have been busy running, uh, wreck, or running, well, running toes, not necessarily wrecks, there's been some wrecks, but mostly breakdowns. So I have been really busy. Uh, I did get the carpet completely in, and uh, now we're going to do a little bit more trim work, and we're going to cap the tops of the carpet with uh, the seat belt material like we did here. And I did go ahead and make the side panels, which you know we can pull back out because I, I'm going to insulate under the floor yet. So this is the carpet we've got in, but we're not, you know, it's not permanent. So. I was thinking about this hump, and it's low right here, and it's low right here, and I, since I can't make the carpet mold to the hump, I mean, even if I could, I don't think I'd get enough steam on something, you know, this big. Uh, I think I'm going to make the hump the shape of the carpet. So we're going to build this center up, and we're going to build that up, and we're going to use that using spray foam, and we'll spray foam it, and then we'll try to cut it, and mold it you know to what we want and then we will uh, uh, put our insulation uh, dynamite like material over top of it and it's not this is not the expensive dynamite but and then uh, we'll get it down and then we'll get the carpet back in but like I said while I've got it out I'm gonna go ahead and put them in uh, I'm gonna try to put an insert in the bottom for my feet for my heels and like I said sew the top up a few little things and uh, I've got covers for the clutch and brake pedal. Uh, I'm going to try to cover the gas pedal, and I'll probably go ahead and paint the pedals and all while I've got it back out. So we're going to do that now. I think uh, we'll probably take these three out and go ahead and try to get this hump built up. And I think if I get this up level across, I think the whole thing will be better. We're never going to get the starter bump out, but uh, the rest of it should be better. So, all right. Okay, hopefully the storm will miss us, but... Uh, here's what we've got to work with. I'll try to get where you can actually see it. You see the way it comes down here and the way it comes down here. So we're going to try to build this up and just even this out some. Make it more of a uh, smooth ramp and make it more rounded like this is. And uh, I think it's fine here. So just from here forward and here back. So, all right. All right, folks. Never again. Not with this stuff anyway. Uh, I don't know how long it would actually take for the center to dry, but if you put it on light, it just swells up, and then the inside don't dry. It just stays liquid. I don't know. It's not good for filler. Not for filling up. But uh, anyway, so we're waiting on it to finish up, and we're going to finish cutting it. Uh, this come off of the kitchen counter, so uh, my wife is going to kick my... Assuming that this stuff's going to dry, we'll get it cut off and uh, see if we can get something over it. It's going to be good enough. It's just an aggravation, that's for sure. But uh, anyway, it'll get smoothed out. We'll get the rest of this insulation over it and go from there. Okay, folks, this side's pretty much done and most of the hump. And uh, it actually turned out a lot better than I thought it was going to. Uh, it's good and smooth now if our cover fits on okay, which it should. I think we'll be just fine because we didn't really didn't make it much any bigger. We just leveled it out. So we'll see how our carpet goes back in. As soon as I get the rest of it finished here, and uh, I am all the seams where it comes together, I'm taping them up with wool tape, trying to seal it up, you know, tight. So we'll see how it works. All right, all right, folks. We invaded Area 51, and all I came back with was this uh, funky-looking carpet. So see if we can get the black carpet in over it. All right. Okay, folks. Still not too happy with it. Uh, still got wrinkles up there that I don't like. We may try to shrink some of that out with a steamer or something. We'll see how that works out. Uh, I screwed my carpet up right there. I was screwing that pedal down and it caught the piece of uh, material and pulled it all the way out. So I don't have any more. So I'm going to pick up a, at least one piece of that, that and uh, replace it, which won't be hard because it's just one, one corner section. Now what I done was uh, I made it where the seat wouldn't bolt down to the top carpet only the bottom and that way we can flip this up if we need to and get to the uh sauna. I didn't glue any of this and I think it'll be pretty easy to get to and uh 
but otherwise it's in here I'm just not happy with her with her hump whatsoever I think I can do a better job than that so we'll see how it goes but we're gonna go ahead and get the seat in see how it looks and uh, as for the door seals or the step plates uh, they're in way too rough shape to even try to put back on so I'm gonna make them and uh, but I've got to get the seat in and I'm gonna get my mess cleaned up here okay folks uh, seats are in front seat back seat I haven't adjusted that yet I haven't had time so uh, anyway turned out pretty good still not happy with the carpet on the front left but we'll take care of that and I'm not real happy with the hump in the center but for now we're gonna live with it and then uh, we have got to do the door panels but I've got to fix all the window tracks and stuff first and I've got all the stuff in for that now every bit of it and then uh, we'll clean up this dash and stuff and uh, anyway just make it presentable inside that heater like I said is coming out and uh, make sure there's no air holes leaks or anything like that and to blow air in I may try to maybe glue a piece in through there cut a thin strip I don't know it just it's just aggravating there so but we'll figure it out and uh, but everything else seems to be okay and I'll be glad to get this knocked out but I want to get these windows in and finished up so I can uh, park it out and if it rains it won't hurt nothing so and I, like I said I've got all the seals for the doors Oh, anyway, so worked out pretty good. All right. Okay, folks. Now that we've got pretty much everything done except for the door panels, uh, we're going to get the doors together, and we'll do this on the next video. But I want to go ahead and show you the parts and. Uh, how this works on a Studebaker. This not all cars are like this, but but uh, this don't run. The window don't run in a track like a normal setup. I'll show you. Uh, this is actually our upper and lower rubber for our seal for our door when we close the door, and uh, we will get that on there. And I've got to make a little bit of the metal part that this goes in for the driver's door, and I'll show you that it won't be a big issue anyway and uh, okay so we got these which I'm gonna have to probably either drill and rivet or tack weld the pieces onto that uh, that these go on because these are sort of a generic and you have them just cut to the length that you need and uh, these actually don't ride in the glass they ride right here on this bracket so this would be well I'm telling you wrong it would be this end because this is the front of the window now what happens is, is the, this window comes up and meets against the the actual uh, wing glass so this is the front of the window this is the lift rubber which we're going to live with because what we're going to do is put uh, like a windshield uh, sealer inside and to basically glue this window in and we'll do it up through here this is uh, it comes off but we'll probably try to leave it on and go ahead and get it out of the rubber and I've, like I said I've got a new window we'll clean this up uh, this track I think it's bent down a little bit we'll have to straighten it out uh, we had some issues with this one uh, the arms bent we'll have to get it straight and uh, this it wasn't even in track actually so I don't know if it got pulled out or what but anyway but this rides in this one and this all rides below the level where you can't see it and then on the back side it actually rides in this one and this is a long piece and you can order this you know different width and different depth and different thickness inside and this actually goes and it, it, it will bend and it goes up from the back all the way up and around and then meets up at the front and so we'll have to bend it around and hopefully the the right length. I'm assuming that they are. Uh, so that gives you your your rear track, and that gives you your front track. And then uh, 
that's basically what holds the window from here and then once your window's in you know it rolls up and meets but it don't actually run up and down inside the track like a normal window would so then you have cat whiskers now this is sort of a I think they make all these anti-rattle pieces also these go at the top of the door where you put your arm when you roll your window down and these actually keep the window from moving back and forth and rattling and uh, they used to look a lot of them look like cat whiskers this is more of a, a fuzzy than it is the little whiskers sticking out and then you have these clips which is uh, kind of a weird little clip that hold them on uh, one side and then the other side actually uh, goes through it looks like a little almost like a uh, staple and then these two clips here are actually for this also so hopefully we can get this window together or both windows together and then get our door rubber on and then we don't have to worry about any leaks and uh, we'll do this and then we can get on the door panels and get them done and we'll be completed. Now I'm going to do an insert inside the door panels probably with the material that I've done the inserts in the seats and we'll do some sort of design or something I hadn't decided yet just to be a little bit different and uh, once that's done uh, we're going to probably detail some of the dash and uh, you know and all and then uh, try to do some wood graining on it soon uh, you know I've got of course other stuff I've got to get back on the Golden Hawk and uh, I want to try to get as much done on the floors get them finished up as I can and we'll probably see I don't know hopefully I can order carpet for it because I'm not I'm not happy with unmolded carpet but you know sometimes you gotta live with what you gotta live with so we'll probably do some more work on the carpet on the Studebaker uh, the 51 before it's over with but anyway but that's all our parts and uh, our rubber and it should be everything we need to get these windows to roll up and down right and like I said I, I do have the glass for this and the company that done it done a really good job it's smooth on all edges uh, no chips or anything like that so so now the this window on the passenger side will be a lot nicer than the driver's side window, but but that's okay. We're just trying to make it uh, drivable. So anyway, you can see the window's about to come out anyway. So all right. Well, I appreciate everybody watching and uh, and appreciate you know all your comments and uh, until next time. Bye.